morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is Kathy Brock. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And today, amen, it's uh, January 6, 2014. And uh, this is your radio. Praise the Lord. This is our first show of the new year. The last show was on the 27th of December, so took a few days off. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm so glad that you guys are here. We're going to uh, do something a little bit different. Uh, we're actually going to begin with some praise and worship, and then we'll do the prayer. It's kind of like how you do in your regular life anyway. In your normal prayer life, you begin with worship. All right? And then we put forth all those petitions and the I am's and, you know. So, let's, uh, let's uh, give God some praise. And why am I doing this? Because God is a good God. He deserves all the worship. Amen. And um, I have a testimony. And and it's simply, I just was not feeling well. And I didn't know what else to say. I kept crying out, crying out. And I said, well, wait a minute. I didn't say thank you. I said, well, let me. Because I had forgotten. Because sometimes when you're in pain, you forget to thank God for something that he's already done. Because remember, he says, I've done everything. It's completed. So, give him thanks. When when nothing else has worked, and all your moaning and, and complaining about some situation, just stop and just say, thank you, Jesus. Remember, only he can satisfy. Satisfy my soul. I know it's only the power of the Lord. If you know it's only the power of the Lord, begin to lift your praise to Him. Come on and say, Only you. Only you.
and praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. God's scripture on Psalms 37 and 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Zechariah 9 and 8. I will camp around my house because of the army, because of him who passes by and him who returns. No more shall and no more shall an oppressor pass through them. For now I have seen with my eyes. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So that thing that I kept repeating was, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Praise the Lord. I kept hearing myself say the words a little bit differently. Wait a minute, that's not right. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen John three sixteen and 17 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not a son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Mark nine twenty three. Jesus answered and said unto him if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy 34 and 7. And Moses was 120 years old. When, and Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he should not speak of himself, for whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. John 14, 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Galatians three thirteen and 14. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us, for it is written, Accursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. John one seventeen. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. Genesis 12, 1-3. This is very important. Pay attention to this. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This is why I'm all, I tell you quite often, Bless God's chosen, his Jewish people. Bless Israel. Don't curse them. Don't speak against them. Bless them. Psalms 37 and 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. John 14 and 10. Do you not believe that I am the Father, that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. Isaiah one eighteen, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen. God is a gracious and merciful God. He really is. And we just want to give him thanks for our deliverance for our salvation because he is Lord and without him we'd all be lost Exodus 34 and 6 says and the Lord passeth 
And the Lord passes before him and proclaimed the Lord. The Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to get us some more worship on here. We got Thank You for Your Love by Kevin Jenkins. And then we'll do the um, confession. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I talk to you a minute? Listen. When I woke up. Early this morning. And Lord, I thank you for letting me see a brand new day. Deep within my heart, Lord, I begin to praise your name. My life wouldn't be complete if you hadn't shown me the way, Lord. I
Amen, amen, amen. Giving God some thanks. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. Glory to God. We had, um, I said before, we would have the uh, prayer confession here. And uh, I did not even notice this, but it looks like it dropped out. But we got it right here for you. Amen, amen, amen. Remember uh, to give God praise every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Jesus. We receive the blessing of the Abraham covenant and the promise of Jesus to do more than he. Because Jesus went home to the Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. We hear from God and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comfort of the Holy Spirit who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you for you, our hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, every mountain is moved, every closed or blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their, Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. As Moses was so full of good health, so are we. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved. Believing you love us and receiving your love. Not subject to temptation. Submitting to your will. Receiving your blessing in the name of your risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured uh, dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world. One man cannot see. If God before his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails. Above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards, the beloved and the sign of God, we count on all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor. In the name of God's risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, over in John 14 and 12, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. God absolutely loves you. He really does. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give him some praise with Willie Coleman. Praise with all. We have that altar call coming up right after this song. Loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. He loves the way it sounds. Lord, lift those hands and say, one more time all over this room tonight. You are my Lord, you're awesome. And we pray. Stand that you deserve the highest praise, Lord. So we praise you. Everything we have, all the hearts, all the mind, all the soul, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift those hands tonight and say, sing a love song to him. Oh, if you love him, sing it tonight. You're so there's nobody greater than you, Lord. You are. And Lord, you are awesome. So we pray. Praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. If it wasn't for Jesus, we'd all be just out, done, cooked. No salvation, no relief. Thank you, Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. If you would like to receive forgiveness of your sins and receive the free gift of salvation that Jesus uh, provided for all of us, by uh, paying a price on the cross, he took the punishment that we were supposed to get. And now we don't have to do that. All we have to do is receive. So if you would like to receive the gift of salvation, uh, deliverance, uh, 
then repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Congrats. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com, click on the link, find the church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Follow me to segment number two. We got more for you. And um I'll see you in a few minutes. For you guys that are in chat, you're gonna have to uh hook back up with me. I'll be back um uh, in just a few short minutes. Amen. Amen. It's all right to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him. 